WBTV Caroline's, WBTV's Caroline Hicks continues our live team coverage from Union County, where Caroline got a close up look at the changes for early voting. Early voting in Union County will look a little bit different this year. Markings on the ground show you where to stand as you wait in line to vote. And once you get inside of that voting location, you'll also notice some changes. You can see that the booths are spaced at least six feet apart, and I'm told workers will be sanitizing those between each voter. We can't put our finger on the number, but we just know that we're going to be busy and it's going to be a huge turnout. Union County Elections Coordinator Sandra Cope says about 240 poll workers will be at early voting sites. Some people that have never thought that they would work for the Board of Elections before hearing that we needed help and they wanted to be that that outlet to help the citizen get through the process of voting. Coble just finished training the workers, preparing them to handle tough situations like a voter trying to vote twice. If a voter comes in and the system has them flagged as voted as absentee, they'll inform the voter that our records indicate that you have voted absentee. If the voter still insists, they allow what's called provisional voting. Provisional ballots are held and researched by the team of provisional workers at the Board of Elections office between November 3rd and November 13th. They are still setting things up, getting prepared for early voting. When you show up to sign in, there will be a plexiglass barrier set up here, separating the voter from the poll worker. Protecting the election and your health and safety. They will offer each voter a mask and hand sanitizer at the door. We just want everyone to be able to get out and vote, whether it's early voting, voting by mail, or on election day. There are eight locations in Union County that are set up for early voting, and I'm told each of them has a similar socially distanced setup to this one. Early voting kicks off at 8 o'clock on Thursday. I'm Caroline Hicks reporting in Union County, WBTV on your side. WBTV is your best resource for any questions you have about early or absentee voting. We have put together an